Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. four counts of first degree murder. That's the verdict in the Adam Matos case. And now the same jury that convicted him today will decide if he should get the death penalty for the 2014 murders. Let's get right out to reporter Eric Waxler live in Pasco County. And Eric, you just talked to the father of one of the victims. Yeah, that's right, James. And there was so much overwhelming evidence in this case. The jury took only about three hours to deliberate. And then family and friends of those victims, they packed the courtroom and they got the verdict they were hoping for. The defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree. The defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree. The defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree. The defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree. It was a really happy moment. We've been fighting for three years to get to this day. Daniel Leonard's son, Nick, is one of four people Adam Matos is now convicted of murdering. Prosecutors say Matos was enraged. The mother of his son, Megan Brown, had a new boyfriend. They say Matos killed Megan, her parents, Greg and Margaret Brown, and Leonard, all inside this Hudson home. I don't know if you looked at him at all, but he had no emotion almost this entire trial. Is that just strange, knowing what he did? That's probably because of what he did. Until the prosecution got done with their case, he didn't actually know how much they had against them. Attorneys for Matos tried to convince the jury that he acted in self-defense against Leonard, stabbing him only after Leonard attacked first. The girl that said that my son would be more, more apt to stop a fight than start one, she was right. And that, that was my son. He was, he loved people. He didn't, he wasn't a, a harsh person at all. Nick's father says his son was his best friend. There is relief today, no matter what happens next, whether Matos gets the death penalty or life in prison. Either way, he's, his life is over, and uh, that's basically all we can really ask for, keep him off the streets. Yeah, so now that same jury will have three days off and then come back here to court on Monday morning. They will have to be unanimous in order for Adam Matos to get a... Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.